Today marks day four of the fall season, a tradition spanning more than a century here on the Western Slope. The Fruit of Fall Festival wrapped up day two today. A whole host of things for the community members to indulge in. And KREX 5's Austin Sack had a chance to catch all the action. He joins us live in the studio to give us the latest on all the festivities. Austin, what can you tell us? Thanks, Chance. Like many other events, COVID-19 canceled the Fruit of Fall Festival in 2020. This year, the festival brought lots of energy and excitement back to Fruita. With the end of the summer season, the 106th annual Fruit of Fall Fest returns to the Western Slope. The two-day festival features a variety of local vendors, plenty of food to munch on, and booths sponsored by many Fruita-based organizations. But the Fall Fest could not begin without the Fruita Monument High School Homecoming Parade. We did walk in the parade and we were clapping to music and just waving to everyone. It was so awesome to see everyone come and support all the different Fruita organizations. One Fruita group, the Shelley Elementary Parent Teacher Organization, is full of joy that the Fruita Fall Fest is back and took this as an opportunity to meet their neighbors. Um, it's been incredible to get to know other family members and just being here together has been probably the, the biggest highlight. Um, of doing the Fruit of Fall Fest. Those in attendance could take part in many events at sponsored booths that support fruit organizations, and you may even get a new look. We're offering face painting for $5 um, because it's, well, we do have somebody who's pretty awesome that is volunteering with us, but the rest of us are pretty much amateur moms who are just trying it out. From face paintings to supporting the local schools in Fruta, there was something for everyone to enjoy. It just feels awesome to be back and being able to dance for our community because they, they just love us. Yeah. <laughs> and we love our community. We just love being able to perform out there again. Although the event wraps up tomorrow, there's still plenty of action scheduled for tonight. From 4 to 8 p.m., you can head over to Elm Street in Fruta to check out a variety of local art. Reporting live in the studio and first on the Western Slope, I'm Austin Sack, KREX 5 News. Chance? Austin, thank you. A trip to the bowling alley 